So this is in uh, uh, 1972, and uh, I think it was in August, if I remember right, and uh, might even have been 73. Uh, but I'm working night patrol, and, and as you know, eight o'clock comes, we would could button up the headquarters, and all the late guards were, were getting off, and because all the cleanup work was done, all the towers were shut down over the 20 miles of beach. And so now it became a real night patrol thing. And so, you know, uh, I would often drive out to the end of the pier and have dinner. And, um, uh, you know, so I, I do on that evening and I drive out there and the sun's starting to go down and it's, it's just a beautiful evening. And everything's fine and quiet and calm. And I, you know, get my dinner placed in front of me and I just happen to glance from the restaurant at the end of the pier down towards Mariposa Point. And here's this 28 foot cabin cruiser that's right in the middle of the rocks, you know. And it's like, oh my God, you know, it's like, it's like a number three in reverse where you look at it, everything's fine. You look the other way, you look back and there's three people drowning. Well, you know, here's this boat and it's a full boat rescue. So I, you know, forget the dinner, race out, code three down there. And as I pull up, the boat of course has continued to be washed forward. As I, as I pull up, the boat nudges onto the sand and somehow they, they've gone over the rocks and there's not a ding or anything in the boat. And, and, you know, like six adults get out of the boat and they're wearing their big, you know, uh, life jackets and about eight kids get out of, out of it. And the only thing you can see in the kids is their eyes, you know, because the, the, the big, uh, you know, life-saving vest. Mm -hmm.